Finally, dude! Finally, 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 we have some decent news coming out about Call of Duty Vanguard because Lord knows that beta was absolutely awful. To all of my Joe Seacott Gucci eaters out there, you might actually like this one. Yo, what's going on guys? It's the boy Fooly and I'm bringing you guys another video right here on Black Ops Cold War, but today we're talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. And finally, we have some pretty good news coming out about Vanguard and some leaks that we have now. But before we get into anything, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell notifications if you'd like. Let's get as close to 2,000 subscribers as humanly possible and uh, let's get right into it. Guys, you have no idea how relieved I am right now. Hearing this good news about Call of Duty Vanguard, especially after playing that monstrosity that was the beta and the alpha for that game, which honestly left one of the worst tastes in my mouth in a very, very long time for Call of Duty. I, I said the Joe Seacott Gucci cheaters are gonna like this one because I have some pretty positive things to say about Vanguard, but we gotta keep it real. That beta was, it was ass, all right? It was not good. That beta definitely had a lot of people worried for the launch of that game. But I'm happy to announce that there's been some leaks by the Modern Warfare 2 Ghost, a very credible leaker about some of the perks in Vanguard and my oh my do some of them sound interesting to say the least and I mean that in a pretty good way I'm gonna go through as many of these leaks as I possibly can right now I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more but guys these sound pretty good right now finally for a goddamn change and yes these leaks are just perks for now but later on in the video I'm gonna explain why some of these perks are actually really good this first one is called brawler when using melee weapons movement speed and melee range are increased and regen immediately after melee kills I don't really care about that that sounds kind of nice for knifers but other than that I don't really care clandestine or clandestine however you say that slain enemies drop intel packs that reveal nearby hostiles and there's an intel ping at the start of each new life this is also one that I don't really care about but this one one right here dauntless immune to suppression slightly reduces movement speed now i'm actually kind of glad that there's a downside to this perk i think sometimes perks do need downsides but the upside to this perk is that you're immune to suppression which is one of the worst features i've ever seen implemented in a cod in quite a while we'll talk about that more in a bit this next one is called piercing vision pretty much if you use this you're a hoe and you're a goddamn pussy then we have lightweight everybody knows what lightweight does except it increases movement penalty from suppression that's interesting. This next one is called the Reaper and honestly, there's way too many words here. I'm pretty dumb I don't want to read it. You guys can feel free to read it But the next one that I want to talk about is called serpentine sprinting reduces incoming damage Ladies and gentlemen when I read that I became as hard as a brick I'm not gonna lie guys. I cannot begin to tell you how ecstatic I am for this how happy I am that sledgehammer of all studios is the studio that's actually helping people who rush and actually like to move. I mean, I just want to give a shout out to the Joe Seacott Gucci eaters. People who loved Modern Warfare 2019 and camped behind doors, mounted zero recoil. I just got one thing to say to you guys. Please, with all of your might, upper lip and bottom lip. Suck my balls. Guys, I can't begin to tell you how happy I am that there's finally something that not only counters campers, but benefits people who actually like to move their ass. People who don't plant their balls in the cement in a corner are finally being shown some love. You guys, this is huge. David Vonderhaar's bald ass couldn't even give us this. Sledgehammer is giving us this? <laughs> How the tables have turned, guys. These Modern Warfare players have been getting free licks on us, saying Modern Warfare is the best Call of Duty ever because they're mounted behind doors, triple clamps, more fire incinerary shotguns i mean guys this speaks volumes this is the exact same feeling i'm getting as when last stand got removed i mean this one right here the dauntless one immune to suppression slightly reduces movement speed look i don't really care about the movement speed i can make that up however which way immune to suppression now obviously you know common sense would tell you maybe just remove suppression and we don't need this perk and we can you know focus on other things but you know activision sledgehammer all of these developers joe c caught himself not not the brightest not the brightest at all this was definitely not necessary if we're being completely honest but you know what i'm still happy again if you guys don't know what suppression is it's pretty much whenever you shoot somebody directly and by doing so or even having your bullets be close to them not even hitting them but being close to them your character loses unnecessary amounts of speed it feels like they get stuck in mud i'm pretty sure it cancels their reload it just renders them useless and why they added this in the first place like, beats me. I don't goddamn know. I wasn't inspired by Joe Seacott. But finally, something that counters that horrible mechanic, that's a great sign. This literally just gives us a chance against campers, mounters, 
people with no bitches this is such a great perk i'm really happy about this one this next one though guys serpentine <laughs> sprinting reduces incoming damage so not only are we countering bad players modern warfare players campers detriments to the call of duty scene but now we're getting a benefit against them <laughs> so you're telling me people don't got a reverse boost for decent gameplays anymore people with no personalities can strive again really oh lord this is great for content creators but good god for people like myself who are not a bunch of goddamn pussies finally have a reason to move i mean guys the perk is called serpentine for christ's sakes i'm gonna be slithering on these campers man these modern warfare 2019 players got nothing on me anymore i mean i was having a field day with you guys on cold war imagine what i'm about to do to you guys on vanguard <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> this guy's favorite card is Modern Warfare 2019. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> How's the taste of your own medicine? <laughs> oh good god. What a great day to be a COD player, guys. <laughs> Oh god, I'm actually happy right now, I'm not gonna lie. Now, knowing Activision and knowing the path that was set by Joe Seacott himself, this does sound like something that would absolutely get nerfed to the ground or else just completely banished off the face of the earth before launch. And honestly, I pray to David Vonderhaar's bald ass that this doesn't happen, but realistically, Modern Warfare 2019 lovers, Joe Seacott, Gucci eaters, they're probably gonna complain about this and it's probably gonna get nerfed to the ground, unfortunately. But finally, the fact that they were thinking about people who like to move on the map. Man, am I flattered guys i'm i'm heavily flattered right now i'm breaking up again now i have a few things to say about this guys a round of applause to sledgehammer games right they had probably one of the biggest glow ups i've seen since the beta of this game just from how ass that beta was i'm so happy to hear this i mean i, I said it before i'll say it again i predict vanguard to be better than modern warfare 2019 by a mile and i expect it to be better than cold war and for like the hundredth time i'll say this piece again it's not very hard to make games better than this better than modern warfare 2019 better than cold war my fucking grandma can do it with her eyes closed but good god does it feel good to be proven right once again and this is the crazy part even even with all of these positives and all of these great reviews I'm giving it right now, I still don't think Vanguard is gonna be a top five COD. But I will say this, if Vanguard wants to be pushed closer to that top five, or even enter it, even with this great news about the perks, they cannot stop here. And I'm talking like, put the pedal to the goddamn metal right now. This is not the time to slow down whatsoever. This is the time to keep on going. I mean, Sledgehammer, you don't have to be a deadbeat studio just like Treyarch and just like Infinity Ward these last two years. Just because Ass Division is your daddy doesn't mean you need to be deadbeat just like them and waste all your money on butt plugs and harass people just like them. You could be better than that. You don't need to harass women with butt plugs in the workplace. Just create a good title and right now you guys are on the right path. Far superior news to what I've seen in the beta and the alpha. Let's not stop there. Let's actually continuously progress. All right, let's tone down SBMM a little bit. Let's revert to the classic minimap. Let's take out suppression from the game. Let's nerf mounting, nerf the doors, and good God almighty, could we have ourselves a great Call of Duty title, finally. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm as hard as a goddamn glacier right now. Sledgehammer Games, bravo. I mean, genuinely bravo on not being deadbeat this time around. Thank you for being better than Infinity Ward and Joe Seacott. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think of all this. Would you consider this an upgrade to Vanguard just based off of the beta and the alpha? Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notifications if you'd like. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodaloo.